Hey, what's up? Today we're doing another tattoo video, the series that will probably never leave this channel because it's the one that started these whole types of videos, whatever you call them. Some would call them videos with pictures in them. Some would call them shit videos. Some get to my videos and they're like, that's enough internet for today. I'm at the dark, weird place of the internet. And I'm like, wait, no, you're just... You're in Canada. It's not that weird. Anyway, I just fed my fish so that I'm trying to make them a little more active for you. I was like, maybe if I sprinkle some food in there during the intro and then you get to see all the fish, but I don't know. And someone said my tank was looking dirty, okay? It's called tannins in the water. I'm sick of explaining this, okay? I have a big piece of driftwood in there, which makes the water look dark because it's a dark brown thing that seeps out of driftwood. It happens for a while. You do water changes, which takes it out of the water. It's actually very healthy for the fish. It's called tannins. But uh, anyway, stop talking shit about my fish tank. I'm very sensitive about it, clearly. Uh, I'm gonna get so many comments about my fish tank now. People are gonna pick it apart. Hey, what's up? Oh dear, that is a lot of cockroaches on your head. A lot of cockroaches and it looks like you put a little hole in the side of your head, so it's supposed to look like the cockroaches are coming out of the hole in your head. That's just really well done. I'm gonna start by saying it is a very well done tattoo. The execution is flawless, it's just also so disgusting. Gross. I guess you can always grow your hair to cover it up. It looks like you can probably even fold your hair over right now to cover it up. And I'm not saying you would want to. It actually is a pretty amazing tattoo. It's just kind of gross to look at. It's cockroaches coming out of a hole in your head. But cool to each their own. I mean, it makes you happy. I'm sure you're happy with it. It It is well, like I said, it's well done. I, I, don't, I don't know what else to say. It is what it is. It's well done. It's gross. But good job. At least paying some money and getting someone to do your tattoo. Clearly someone who knew what they were doing. The execution. Flawless. Oh, here is a Jesus Dalek. Dalek. If you don't know, if you're not a Doctor Who fan, a Dalek is one of his main nemesis. Just a species of alien that wants to basically kill everything else in the universe so that it's the only thing in the universe. And Jesus coming out of one. So maybe Jesus took over the Daleks and they'll be good now. Or maybe you're trying to do some comparison be between Daleks and Jesus. Or maybe I'm thinking about it too hard. I don't know. But he's also got a machine gun and a Molotov and a grenade coming out of his chest. This is all just a lot of shit going on here. Some Doctor Who, some Christianity. It's just, it's all over the place. But again, the execution, very well done. And I'm a Doctor Who fan, so I kind of like it. I mean, and Jesus is all right, too. Here is a weird dog tattoo. A dog with a dog coming out of its butt hole. And we're just going to say that's a floppy goatee under there. You know, if you ever look at a dog's butt and see another dog's face staring back at you, first of all, you should probably figure out what kind of drugs you've taken and then get to a safe room and lock yourself in because you got to ride that trip out. Gino. What's your tattoo say? Me, it's nothing. Don't even worry about it. Gino, if you can... Fine, it says, if you can read it, you can eat it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That sounds like a conversation between someone who regrets their tattoo, someone who got this tattoo when they thought it was cool as a teenager, and now they're trying to get back into the dating world as like a 30-some-year-old, and they're like, it's stupid, I know, I can't afford to get it removed. It's made it very difficult. Now, here's one. Yeah, like, look, this is a Little Mermaid-themed tattoo, and it's not not that bad. I just want to know why this turtle is so frightened. Why is that turtle so scared? It's running away. It's like, oh, I know what's about to go down. Oh, they're gonna have underwater sex. Shit. Have you ever seen a mermaid have sex? It's disgusting. It's in between a fish and a mermaid. It's not cool. Man, you think this dude is in love with Ariel because she's a beautiful woman? No, she is sick. You should see the things he does when the cameras aren't around with fish. Here's Mo with a noose around his neck and it says, hang in there. And it's on his neck, and it, that's a little morbid. Uh, it's a Simpsons tattoo, and, uh, yeah, it's, uh, well, it's just, just hang in there, man. Don't be so sad. It's a good message. It's a creepy tattoo. Live. This is a tattoo on a tongue. Ow, oh, that probably hurt like a motherfucker. Shit. Live on a tongue. How long does that last? Because you know that's not going to be there forever. It's got to fade away eventually, right? Oh. It just looks like it hurt a lot. But it looks like you carved a lot of tattoos into your face, so you probably don't give a shit. Hmm, what else we got here? I have so much room in my heart. Someone sent me this tattoo and said the foot's the only bad part, but no, that sentence is also a nightmare. But yes, the foot, that foot too, also creepy as shit. That foot is just, 
it's not right. Whoever did this did a pretty good job on everything else, aside from the sentence they tried to put together. But the feet. You should have just not done any feet. I don't know what happened. Maybe that's their thing. Their signature is doing feet that look deformed. The little signature on their pieces, on their tattoos. Oh, here's one a fan sent me. It's a camel on a toe. Um, I'm pretty sure you're not the only fan that sent me this one. I've seen camels on toes before. It's okay. Hey, if it makes you happy and it gets you a little laugh when you're going to parties and stuff, then fine, whatever. Feck it. And another fan sent me this Scooby-Doo tattoo, which is just so involved. And again, awesome execution. Scooby-Doo taught us that the real monsters were always human. The moment I will stop loving Scooby-Doo will be the moment I will stop breathing. So, uh... Yeah, this guy's real intense about Scooby-Doo, and I, okay, I respect it. I like me some Scooby-Doo, too. But that is a, a deep meaning to Scooby-Doo, and it's true, though. They always were human. You got me thinking more deeply about Scooby-Doo, okay? So if your tattoo did anything, it made me think more deeply about Shaggy and Scooby and the gang. Anyway, thanks for sending your tattoo. I always appreciate it when fans send me their tattoos and don't mind me talking about it. So, uh, yeah, I'm glad you're, you uh, enjoyed this video, if you did. And I'll see you in the next one. Check out my Patreon, patreon.com slash fluffy talks. Bye.